Hello viewers, I am Dr. Srinivasaya. Today, let us try to understand on the topic of deficit financing, which is going to be useful both undergraduates like BA, BCom and MBA students, even MCom students also. My presentation plan is like this. Introduction to Deficit Financing, Meaning of Deficit Financing, Types of Deficit Financing, Methods of Deficit Financing, Objectives of Deficit Financing, Uses of Deficit Financing in Developing, developing Countries, Effects of Deficit Financing and Conclusion. This is how my presentation plan is. In the introductory part, deficit financing is a policy where the government large spending via borrowing money instead of increasing taxes. When there is a budgetary deficit, a gap between public revenue and public expenditure, deficit finance will start an increasing in government expenditure and decreasing in tax revenue when the economy begins to expand again the demand for labor, picks up unemployment pay drops automatically tax revenue increases and expenditure decrease. It is needed for developing countries for their welfare states. Here we mean to understand that deficit financing is the process of introducing new money in the economic system. Why we have to introduce this new money into the economic system? we have to introduce this new money into the economic system to bring the concept of welfare states. Now, there is a less collection of taxes. With the less collection of taxes, government cannot achieve its welfare state. As a result, it is going to impuse, it is going to inject a kind of an amount, a kind of a money new money into the system as a result all the economic activities will get stimulated as a result there is a, a extension of economic activities instead of contraction it is going to expand the economic activities when economic activity is getting expand obviously there is a huge changes are going to take place because of these changes we can identify ourselves in the economic system where by comparing the other international economies. This is how the introductory part we need to understand. Meaning of deficit financing, it is a practice of introducing new money into the system. New money is coming into the system means they are infusing they are injecting new money into the system by the by the way of government spends more money than it receives as revenue minting new funds to meet budgetary deficit direct addition of gross national expenditure by the way of revenue and capital accounts when the receipts of money that is revenue capital accounts over the expenditure, the account deficit finance will appear. We need to say that. We need to say that here deficit financing is the process of bringing new money into the system for the purpose of economic activities expansion over the period of time. Why these economic activities we need to expand the over, over the period of time? J.M. Keynes 
after 90 after the second world war period is yes, is said that government spending is one of the important tool for the expansion of economic activities that is what he has identified and he has proposed as a result when government is keep on spending obviously money is flowing from government to the public when money is flowing from government to the public as a result there will be more money in the hands of individual when there is a more money in the hands of individual so obviously they are going to spend more money when they are spending more money on the economic activities as a result there is a increasing in the aggregate demand when there is aggregate demand increases obviously output is also increases when output increases employment opportunities increases when employment opportunities increases there is an increasing in the standard of living as increased standard of living obviously there is a increasing in the saving rate when the saving rate increases as a result there is a increasing in the investment as increasing in the investment as a result obviously there is a there is a expansion of industry there is a expansion of a economic broad base as a result obviously economic development can be achieved this is how the concept of deficit financing has been very important that's what he has that is jm keynes has identified during after the second world war so that is how we need to keep in mind it is an important uh, so that is uh, breaking points types of deficit what are the different types of deficit which can be appear that is budgetary deficit all of us we know that total expenditure and total receipts here every year governments are going to prepare a budget while preparing the budget normally almost all the governments they are going to prepare a kind of a deficit budget which means their expenditure adds are over than the receipts as a result there are the other alternatives been made provision for the purpose of revenue then revenue deficit revenue deficit is revenue expenditure minus revenue receipts then physical deficit total expenditure minus total receipts except borrowings primary deficit fiscal deficit minus interest payments effective revenue deficit revenue deficit minus grants for the creation of new capital assets monetized physical deficit that part of physical deficit covered by borrowing from the central bank of the country these are the different forms of deficit which is going to be identified the important another very important uh, the concept behind the deficit is it is going to create an opportunity for the development when there is a deficit is taking place obviously more money is being injected into the system as a result economic activities will get expanded when it is been get expanded obviously it is going to show the way of or the scope for the development methods of deficit financing and are the which methods this deficit financing Uh, countries are going to undertake the countries are going to undertake deficit financing in various methods issuing of new currency when new currency is been issued obviously more money is coming into the system when more money is coming into the system simultaneously other activities like other activities like buying purchase purchasing buying effective demand output employment saving investment all those kind of all those kind of economic activities will get stimulated as a result in an economic system finally we can eradicate poverty we can eradicate we can create employment we can eradicate unemployment so therefore it is one of the method which is been practiced in the in the form of deficit financing 
increase in the volume of foreign loans which means external loan external loan foreign loan it is nothing but buying money getting money from the international institutions or a foreign nationals or a foreign governments as a result obviously there is a more money is going to flow into our system as a result similarly proportionately economic activities will get expanded economic activities will be encouraged treasury securities similar instruments to reduce current account balance obviously sometimes government is going to so uh, the deposit the treasury securities are similar instruments to for the purpose of to purpose of raising the loan so when this is going to get practice when you, when countries imports are more than its export obviously they are going to make this kind of arrangement to increase the circulation of money to meet this a uh, kind of a uh, imbalance in the system as a result economic activities will get stabilized and there is a increasing in the increase increasing in the activities of economies the creation of money borrowings from central bank governments can also borrow money from the central bank when governments are borrowing money from the central bank as a result as a result there is a possibility there is a possibility new money is coming into the system simultaneously proportionately it is going to encourage people's purchasing power as a result other activities like income investment employment poverty reduction all can be positively it will be get impacted running down the cash balances of the government see government cash balances also play very important role very important role when government cash balances obviously it is one of the important indicator where the method of deficit financing rise receipts by additional tax revenue government for the purpose of deficit financing based on certain goods where the goods have been used by only a particular people where who are into a more a more elite class under that circumstances obviously where there is a possibility of money flow from so that is richer uh, richer population which means rich persons to the government hand similarly that money being spent for the purpose of social overage rising net return from the government services there are government services these government services are also going to rise their returns as a result there will be a more money in the hands of government then they are going to spend similarly similarly there is a possibility possibility of spending opportunity by the government as a result flow of money in the system will get increase rising domestic loans so here under another a very important method domestic loans are also can be raised by the government when with this domestic loan the same money can be infused to the system when money is been infu infused to the system obviously flow of money is going to takes place in the system these are the different methods employed for the purpose of deficit financing in the system objectives of deficit financing which means before doing the deficit financing what are the things governments has to keep in mind to meet the financial requirement of the government during the emergencies such as war and pre present conditions like covid-19 see deficit financing it is a very important tool in many of the time to meet the war emergency and the financial emergency like covid-19 almost all the countries in the world now they are facing the problem of finance except india china and indonesia almost all the countries they are turning towards recession 
So, under these circumstances, what other countries are going to do? These keeping uh, the uh, certain examples in the mind, other countries are also going to keep, other going to other countries are also going to introduce new money into the system. As a result, as a result, they are going to somewhat they can damage the economics bro, economic brokerage this system as a result it is one of the important objective of this deficit financing to raise the level of effective demand thereby stimulate private spending in a depression economy obviously all of us we know that is a business cycle in the business cycle there are a fluctuations economic activity because of these fluctuations of economic activity, even at the moment, COVID-19, Corona, the because of this depression or recession in the economy, obviously there will be no purchasing power. When there is no purchasing power in the in the with the people, when there is no money in the hands of people, obviously what is going to happen? Again, economy is going to get synchronized. So therefore, to stop this and to create effective demand. What government is going to do? Government is going to introduce a new money into the system. As a result, money is flowing from government to the public. Then public uh, effective demand is going to create. Then there will be a more flow of money. So that is how the possibility is expected to happen. Then to mobilize resources for planned economic development. Any country economic development, it is one of the important objective. To achieve this economic development, there is a source of money. This source of money, it is not enough by the source of tax. So, therefore, governments are going to infuse in the form of deficit financing, deficit financing money into the system. As a result, uh, planned economic development can be achieved. To create employment opportunities, as already I told, employment opportunities are also directly or indirectly depending on the the investment investment it is again depends on the saving savings again depends on the effective demand effective demand again depends on the employment opportunities so therefore when there is an employment opportunity for the for a person all the economic activities will go on smoothly if there is no effective economic activities there is no employment opportunity obviously there is a vicious circle is expected to happen in the system then it is very difficult to stabilize the system to reduce poverty all of us we know that poverty is a situation where the non-availability of basic needs when the non-availability of basic needs are happening in the system it's a kind of a vicious circle of poverty it is caused to a social over increasing in the social overhead expenditure to stop this when government in advance itself they are taking a step on deficit financing obviously we can reduce poverty and encourage economic development to upgrade the infrastructure of the economy infrastructure is very important for any economic development in, without infrastructure so the uh, primary sector like agriculture, secondary sector and manufacturing sector like industries and services sector cannot be developed. So therefore, for the purpose of creating this infrastructure, there is a necessity. There is a necessity of money. This money is being infused in the name of deficit financing by the government. As a result, infrastructure being created, then all other activities will be linked with this. So therefore, it is very important to note that so that is to upgrade the existing infrastructure in the economy deficit financing it is also play a significant role see for many of the time for the undergraduates and postgraduate students they are asking objectives and significance of the deficit financing here what you are required to do is these objectives only how by by spending money these objectives have been made how these changes have been taken place in the economic system that itself is a significance of deficit financing which means to say that after spending the, uh, the this government's deficit financing what has changes positive changes has become in the economy which means to say that infrastructure development was taken place 
poverty has been reduced, employment opportunities has been created, planned economic development has been uh, achieved, at the same time effective, effective demand has been created and whatever the required financial needs are there for the government, it has been given with the help of this deficit financing. So, therefore, all these points again enter, it is also a significant point for any governments. Users of deficit financing, this deficit financing has the following importance. Users, creation of effective demand. Deficit financing is going to create effective demand. What is this effective demand? Effective demand is an intersection of aggregate demand and aggregate supply. When this aggregate demand and aggregate supply is taking place, obviously there is a free flow of economic activities will happen in the system. For the creation of these free flow of economic activities, deficit financing is one of the important tool increasing in the income, employment and output level. When deficit financing is taking place, obviously there is an increase in the income of an individual. When increase in the income of an individual means money is flowing from money is flowing from government to the individuals. When, when money is flowing from government to the individuals, obviously that is going to become an income of the individual. As a result, they are going to save money, investment is happening. After the investment, employment is going to generate, then after the employment generation, total output, output in the economy is going to happen. It is resulted through deficit finance. Reduction in the poverty. See, as a result of deficit financing, poverty can be reduced. Way in which this poverty is connected to this deficit finance. When government is spending on certain specified projects, obviously, there is a money is flowing from government to the individuals. See, where are, where are various government schemes are there, poverty eradication and employment generation schemes. Through this employment generation and poverty eradication schemes, when people have been employed, obviously money is flowing from government to the individual. As a result, at least somewhat they can get their money livelihood for the purpose of their lives. Increasing in the flow of money, Obviously, in the economic system, the flow of money is expected to increase as a result, as a result of defi deficit finance. Inflation can be maintained. Here, inflation in the economy, it is a debatable point. Whether it is inflation is needed or not needed, many of the economists, they are going to argue it. But we need to think of it for any country there is a reasonable amount of inflation is needed. When there is a too much depletion is taking place, obviously the purchasing power of individuals, other economic activities will get contrasted. As a result, economic activities cannot be encouraged. So therefore, we need to maintain inflation some extent, a reasonable inflation, reasonable inflation is some extent. Therefore, this deficit financing is playing a significant role in this connection. Creation of infrastructure. See, for any country, infrastructure already I told, it is very much needed in construction of road, dam, power, power projects, drinking water uh, projects, metro, all these kind of thing, it is a need of money. This money, if it is not been enough in the form of public expenditure, when, it is, when they are going to infuse, in the form of deficit financing, uh, deficit financing as a result there is a possibility, possibility of development is taking place in this name. Further, welfare state, what do you mean by welfare state? So, now the government, they are thinking of the concept of welfare, concept of welfare means everybody everybody is overall development. How to achieve this everybody's overall development? Only by spending, only by the way of spending more money into the system by creating social infrastructure. So, therefore, 
it is possible only with the help of the deficit finance. Priority sector development. Priority sector development, it is also an integral part. Many of the economies, particularly and particularly developing economies. These for these developing economies, if priority sector is not there, so that is many other social issues are expected to happen. So, therefore, this sector has to be managed in such a way that there is a possibility of outcome is expected to happen. Increasing in the social overhead expenditure, so health, education, this expenditure will get increased as a result we can bring social harmony in the system. International competition, international competition means like many other, so that is national heads, they are talking about our country is great, we have developed so much. When they are talking about that, when we are not doing anything, when we are doing many things, but we are not able to exhibit sometimes and that is the circumstances by using these kind of tell, these kind of instruments like deficit finance, we also can compete among the international uh, community saying that our country is also developing or developed country. So, therefore, it is one of the important tool, tool to show cause, to, to show cause our uh, uh, like achievements in the international international level scenarios. Evil effects of deficit finance. So, with this, these are the things earlier uh, slide, whatever the things I told, it was even connection with all, almost all the developed as well as developing countries, particularly developing countries like India, it is uh, an, uh, a kind of a tonic to the uh, development process. Then, though there are uses in the economic system, Sometimes we can also find certain evil effects of the deficit financing. Deficit financing, however, may also result from government inefficiency. Why this deficit financing will take place in the system? Because of the government inefficiency, reflecting widespread tax evasion, wasteful spending rather than the operation of the plan, counter cycle policy. So, these are the things which means government inefficiency will cause to the deficit finance in almost all the governments across the world. So, therefore, we need to say that to counter, to counter this inefficiency of the government, if governments are working efficiently, the question of deficit finance will not arise. However, the following points can be noted, these are the evil effects of deficit finance. Even though government is working in efficient, inefficient method, that is inflation, that is deficit financing immediate result is inflation. So, government has to maintain the stable and reasonable inflation without affecting a enormous increasing in the price level. Inflation is the tendency of increasing in the price and decreasing in the value of currency. When there is this stability is being maintained, obviously there is a good success. An important evil effect of deficit financing is immediate cause for inflation. This has to be noted, this has to be maintained correctly. Difficult to determine value of currency. So, when deficit financing is taking place, most of the time, more circulation of money is taking, most of the time, that time, it is very difficult to define about the circulation of money in the system. Government may keep going popularization. Many of the times, what government they do almost across the world, that is, because of their popularity, political popularity, they are going to bring new, new, new schemes. As a result of bringing new and new schemes, there is a more public money is flowing for the purpose of a particular scheme. As a result, various other sectors of the economy 
being neglected. So therefore, the being politi political administrators, they are required to keep in mind all the sections of the society without deviating, without polarizing any section of the society, every section has to take into confidence and make development in the method of overall. So, this is how it is going to take place. Increasing in taxes obviously has an evil effect of deficit financing. When government is pouring, injecting more money, more money into the system, obviously the taxes are expected to rise. Then people may feel about a increasing in taxes is uncomfortable to them. Here, see in any economic system, in a human body, how much blood and human body and a healthy human body has the science says science says that five to six liters of blood like that in economic system how much money is needed only that much money has to be in otherwise it becomes blood pressure for a human being like that there is a too much money pressure in an economic system as a result there is a sudden increasing in the prices so therefore it is possible again there is a decreasing in the value of currency is expected to take place. These are the important evil effects of deficit financing are expected to take place. To conclude, the final result of deficit financing is inflation and economic instability. Though painless, it is very much inflation prone compared to other sources of financing careful implementation is essential keeping money circulation in mind for the purpose of welfare state here inflation as an important source for the purpose of inflate uh, for the inflation so therefore before implementing government has to think over in a uh, uh, hundred times so when it is being carefully implemented it is going to be very much useful for the overall development in the nation that is how all of us need to be keep in mind. So, this is the topic which has been covered many things. So, this topic is going to be very much useful for the BCom undergraduate students, BA undergraduate students, MCom undergraduate students, BBA Bachelor of Business Administration undergraduate students, Union Public Service Commission examinations undergraduates uh, examination purpose state level public service commission examinations banking examination indian economic service examinations for these examinations this information it is going to be useful very much in practically we have to think this topic is so everybody all of you uh, you have you have taken uh, lot, uh, lot of time and with your patience you have listened this very nice one so that is all of you please subscribe my channel and share with all other friends it will be going to be sharing the knowledge from one person to another person it is going to be more useful among everybody thank you very much my dear all